and welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, where today we're going to be watching my second of all time Dimash video. This is my second reaction review analysis of his vocal, his performance. I did do a video for SOS which you watched and then you flooded me with requests and uh, this was the one that came up as the most requested for my next Dimash video. So if you have any more requests, please do leave them in the comments box below and I will do them in order of popularity. Okay, so Dimash, he is a Kazakhstani singer. He has been on a very, very popular talent show and uh, we're kind of going through his performances, I guess, from said show um, and Sinful Passion is what we're gonna watch now. Are you ready? Let's do it. Lovely breathy quality in his lower vocal. Wowzers. Oh, yes, it's not a isn't it nice how he can put that little bit of grit into his vocal, even when he's delivering a breathy and more aspirate vocal quality? Love the piano as well. Getting a little stronger, giving us that vibrato. See there, he's just pushing and pulling, so he gives us a little more and then he pulls back at the end of a phrase, so he has this great dynamic control. Oh, that reverb. Listen to that reverb. Let's just rewind that a bit. See, that's a great thing that you can do in a live performance. It's not just a technique that you can have in a recording studio. You can put these reverbs and delays onto a mic in a live situation as well. And it just sets the atmosphere in a totally different way. Wow, okay. That whole phrase was full of dynamic change. My goodness. Just thinking about the beginning of that phrase. I mean, what was that? 10 seconds? Not even that. I don't even know. But he went full voice, full chest voice, then pulled back, full chest voice, then pulled back. It's brilliant. Still, still pitch perfect, even in these softer vocals, which is difficult. Conviction. Just on that particular word there, I can hear how he has a really good control with his nasal twang. So that's the when you're using this part of your face to help with your technique, with your vocal technique. Um, so for instance, you can't do a nasal twang um, if you're holding your nose and you try and do an mm sound, mm, it cuts it off. So that's where we get our nasal twang quality from and I can really hear just in that particular phrase how he's incorporating that into his vocal really nicely. In 
fact, in all of that phrase, great agility. That's another great example of how that delay makes the whole thing seem even more dramatic, seem even more incredible. You get to hear that high note again and again and again and again as it comes off the tail end of the reverb. Wow! I mean, his range is phenomenal, isn't it? You, you guys were all telling me um, how huge his range is and how it goes off the ends of the, the piano behind me, for instance. That blew my mind, really, it really did, the, the fact that he has such an incredible range and does it in a live situation, he utilises it in a live situation which, you know, sometimes if you're a, a singer with a, a big range you don't always put that into your live performances, you save it for the recording studio so hearing this live is, it's truly incredible, yeah. That's not something you hear every day. Okay, wait, let's just rewind a sec. Let's listen back to where he was just coming off that really, really high section into this low section and then this completely different delivery of vocal. from all the way up, let's actually, let's find out what that note was first of all. So just, just in that one section he's moved three octaves and four tones in a matter of seconds as well, let's not forget that. And you have to really think about your technique, you have to get yourself prepared for these different areas of your voice. So the fact that he's done that and then gone into this different technique vocally is astonishing. <laughs> second. Wait a second. The breath control there was phenomenal. Never mind anything else that was going on. That's what really took me because to be able to do all that agile stuff, to be able to do all those vocal runs and licks at the end of having held a really long note and continue it, continue it, continue it, continue it. Whew, that is incredible breath control. I need to rewind that because I don't know if that was the video or my speakers <laughs> actually physically stopping working because of his vocal. So I'm just going to rewatch that little bit again because A, it was amazing, and B, I want to check if that was the video or my speakers just cracking there. <laughs> it's that nasal twang as well. I think it might be the video. No bend up there. Yes. I, I think that his band doesn't seem that 
taken aback by what he's just done, but they must hear his vocal all the time. <laughs> but to me, I, if I was in that band, I'd be like, wowzers, wowzers, whilst I was playing. <laughs> Breath. Oh, and that's the end. He feels the music. Imagine having been there. Wow, yeah. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. You have been telling me about how you've all been seeing him live. I've been seeing some comments about how you've been seeing him live recently. Tell me more about that and are there any performances of him that I should be watching that have been more recent? I'd really love to know because honestly this man is blowing me away with every single performance. I need to see more. I need to see more. It's just absolutely incredible what he is able to do vocally and I feel like I've been opened up to a whole new world. So thank you very much for keeping your requests coming in. As I said at the beginning, if there's any more that you want me to watch, let me know in the comments box down below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Scopefield. And I will see you guys very soon. Love you so much. Bye.